This is the Asark True RMS Multimeter. Let's take it out of the box. Comes in a nice case with a wrist strap. That's a really nice thing to have. In the box you get the user manual. Here is the multimeter itself right here. And they give you two sets of leads here. These are your standard probe type ones. This pulls off and gives you your probe right there. And another set right here which plugs into the meter and gives you alligator clip wires which are really handy. Now let me see if I can operate that there. Oh yeah, nice strong spring in that so they'll definitely grab onto whatever that you need to attach them to. And two AAA batteries which the meter runs on. Let me go put those in and I'll show you more about the meter. You will need a screwdriver to get in there and here's where your batteries go as well as a replaceable fuse that is right here so in case that ever does blow you can change that so here is the meter here you can see there's no dial because it's auto ranging and also auto sensing it's always a good idea to set it to the right function that you need first depending on what you're measuring here we'll go ahead and turn it on all right so it turns on right there there is a flashlight built into it. That's a really handy feature. Hold the middle button that turns on. Is it bright? Not really, but it's handy. You will find a use for that if you remember that you have it right there. And it does have a little flashlight button right there. So we can turn that off. The back of it has a stand that pops out like that. And before I flip it back, lead holders so you can put the leads in there I'll show you that in a minute so it can stand up just like that and as you can see the leads fit right in like that so it can hold the leads for you very simply right there this meter has a hold function so when you get a reading on the display you can press the hold button right there that button doubles as the backlight button for the screen so if I hold that for a couple seconds it'll turn on it does only stay on for 15 seconds and go out, but of course that is a battery saving measure. You've heard it beep a few times, so that means it does have a continuity tester and that. Let me get this set up and we'll test a few things with it. Now this is not going to be a video on how to use a multimeter for a few reasons. First and foremost, there are about 8,762 0.87 other videos on YouTube that'll show you how to use a multimeter. And number two, if you're buying a multimeter, chances are it's because you already need know, know how to use one and need another one. So let's go ahead and just test a few things. Here's a AA battery, 1.5 volts DC. I don't know what the status of this battery is. We're going to find out. We'll put the negative and the positive on there. You'll notice it said auto before, and it has now changed to the reading, which is 1.589, right there. I have another battery here. Let's try that one. See what that reads. One point five eight zero, and here's a AAA battery right here. one point five nine five so that all works fine so this automatically sensed that we were trying to measure DC volts and switched accordingly in fact you heard a relay in here click maybe you just need continuity so we'll short the leads together and we have it and there's a red light that shows that right there as well and it's showing the resistance which is 0.1 negligible we'll let go it goes back to auto hit it again and it goes but again you can select what you want you can hit function there and that's DC volts or AC volts and so on and so forth um, it is auto ranging so you don't have like a 2 volt scale, a 20 volt scale, a 200 volt scale, it'll automatically move the decimal point for you like that. 
So let's go ahead and being that it's on AC volts, I have an electrical socket here and I'll go ahead and uh, put that in and see what we get. Should be near 120. If I can get a connection in my outlet here. 123.8, not bad. That's working fine right there. You can of course set this to the ohms scale and test resistance of resistors of course this can test diodes and even capacitors as well but another really nice feature besides the fact that it's all fully auto ranging like that and it has a flashlight i mean you never see that anywhere is this also has non-contact voltage detection so if i close the stand up if you look right in the back there may be hard to read but it says NCV and let me show you what that does there are the outlets that I was just using right there and you'll see they're wired right here I can take the meter and we'll press the NCV button and the display shows EF on it the manual explains what that means and by the way the manual is in plain perfect English there's no uh, anything that's hard to understand or anything like that it's plain English right there but all of these lines here are carrying 120 volts now a non-contact voltage detector like this is not going to show you the voltage however it will let you know if there's voltage present and being that obviously we just saw there is voltage at these outlets we can go ahead and take that sensor and there you go it beeps and go to the next one and that one as well also it's a little tough to get in here there it is right there so those of course are just a few of the things that you can do with this uh, everything so far is a win-win-win as far as I'm concerned this auto function is great. You don't even have to know what you're measuring, and the meter will sense that. Always best to set it first if you do know what you're measuring, like a car battery, or any battery really for that matter, is going to be DC. So if you set it to that, you'll get a quicker reading, number one. And number two, you avoid any possible risks. Remember, of course, that they also give you the alligator clip wires right here, which is really convenient. The wires, by the way, are nice they're flowing flexible and decently long as well you know you got quite a bit of length on that right there so you know this will definitely do the trick for you again the flashlight on it the backlight that we saw before right there so all around a great meter from a sark if you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.